what's going on guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to be back to work on my 2024 ford mustang gt as you guys see in the previous episode we went ahead and got all the body work done on this car everything turned out really good all the body work is nice and smooth and pretty much ready to be sanded but before we do any of that we need to take care of some frame damage on this car as you can see that rocker panel is smushed in pretty good and i actually found the previous owner or the previous owner found me of this car and basically the rear tires are pretty bald and he said he was driving it in the rain and you guys know what happens when you drive a Mustang in the rain with bald tires and I guess he just slid off the road. I think he has a video of it he was supposed to send me. So if he does, I'll clip it somewhere in here. But basically we are gonna be putting this thing on my Chinese frame machine that we got from Vivor quite some time ago. As you guys know, we've used that Chinese frame machine to pull out a couple of cars like Tim's Dodge Ram, the Sentra, and now it's time to use it on a 2024 Ford Mustang. But before we can do that, we actually need to get this uh, BMW M4 off the quick jacks so we can actually lift the Mustang up in the air. Now using the quick jack system, it's gonna be super easy to mount the frame machine to the car because so we have to get the car suspended in the air and then put it on like some blocks i wish i had i need to look into getting some like blocks that you can put underneath the car and it goes underneath the wheel and it lifts the car up but anyways let's go ahead and get this m4 down off of the lift and i think the battery did die on this car man i gotta get back to work on this thing it's just such a beautiful car kind of took a little break from working on it there's just so much stuff that was going on with it but we're definitely going to get on it as soon as we get this car done because i want to start daily driving it i need to sell my other mustang and get some more cars moving through here but anyways let's go ahead and remove this car off the quick jack get the mustang up there and get it up in there So check it out, we got the Mustang up in the air and I gotta say those quick jacks are freaking amazing. Super easy to use, super simple. You simply slide it under there, lifts the car up with ease. These are the 5,000 pound ones so you can lift all the way up to bigger trucks. But now that we have the Mustang up in the air, we also actually got our hood from the dealer. Check this out. It finally came in. It actually came in a lot quicker than they say. I mean, sometimes I think they just say longer just so if it does come in shorter, you know, it won't be a problem, but usually if it takes longer to come in, it'd be a problem. But the finish on this hood is weird. Look at that right there. There's like sanding scratches on it or something like that. So we're definitely gonna have to sand that down and probably throw some sealer. But now that we have the Mustang up in there, ready to go, here is our Vivor frame machine. Now this thing right here is an absolute, I'll drop a little link to the first car that we pulled out with this frame machine. Uh, super easy to use, super easy to set up. Basically you have these two clamps right here and you slide that underneath the car, under the pinch welds, you tighten everything up and it locks into place. And this arm right here gets pushed by that cylinder and just pulls everything out. And basically this is everything you get in a box. It comes in a crate straight to your doorstep, which is super easy to unbox and set up. And then we have this little tool cart right here with the chain. They have all of the clamps. It did come with a little bit more stuff. Still need to find two of my clamps. I haven't used this thing in quite a while, which I'm kind of sad about. I should have been buying cars that needed more frame damage. But anyways, we do need to figure out a way to slide this underneath there. Because as you can see, the quick jacks are kind of in the way. So I'm thinking maybe put like some tires under here, lower the car down on the tires, and then slide it under like that. I mean, it is pretty weird to set up. That's why I was saying earlier, I wish I had like some chocks that I could set underneath the tires. I know some companies sell them. I need to look into that. Or we can just go ahead and put four straps, hook it up to the roof, and lift it up like that. 
All right, I don't think that would work. But anyways, let's go ahead and figure out a solution and get this sucker lined up in place and start pulling out that damaged rocker panel. And you can get a little bit of a better look now that it's up in the air. Look at that right there. It does not look too good. So let's go ahead and get this frame machine underneath the car and get it set up. set up we got the chinese frame machine underneath the car we got everything bolted up and we do just have it on some donut spare tires from a dodge ram honestly i wish i had those little crates to put the car on but i don't maybe we'll have to buy some or build some just to make this framework a little bit easier but now what i think i'm going to do is go ahead and cut this top layer of metal off this is very thin it's just kind of like the sheet metal that they use and then this right here is the harder steel that we need to pull out so i'm, so I'm thinking we're going to go ahead and cut this off right here and probably weld the plate exactly like this and kind of just pull it out so let's get straight to it check that out we got this entire rocker panel all nice and pulled out i gotta say this v-war frame machine always comes in clutch when we need it i mean it pulled that rocker panel out with ease it didn't even have any struggles and i'm pretty sure i could have ripped that whole thing off with it but we definitely don't want to go too far but now you can see everything is nice and flat 
and it's pretty much ready to be all cut off. But I just want to take a little bit of time to talk about how awesome this V-Board frame machine is. I mean, it's super mobile. You can literally store it outside or you can just put it in the back of your shop. It doesn't take up too much space. A lot of people were telling me to get a big old frame machine. But honestly, there's just no room in this little shop to do it. So this thing is literally perfect for it. And it's super easy to set up, super easy to use. And the craziest part about it is this thing is literally cheaper than paying for a frame shop to do your frame on your car. And it's always good to learn new skills. I mean, you can make a lot of money with these frame machines, like pulling out aprons, pulling out quarter panels, stuff like that. So if you guys are interested in getting yourself one of these frame machines, definitely click the links down below. I'll drop all the links as with all the promo codes and check it out. Maybe you can start a frame shop, you know, start small and go bigger and bigger. But anyways, thanks to Vivor for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back to work on this Mustang. So now that we have everything nice and pulled out, pretty much where we want it, we're not gonna remove the frame machine just yet. Once we get into it, cut off the outer skin, inner skin, see exactly what's going on under there. We might need to do a little bit more pulling. But in the meantime, what we need to do is actually start separating this piece right here. This is the new rocker panel that we bought. So basically what we need to do is take off this outer skin right here, remove this little Mustang emblem, and just start separating these two layers because we are going to be replacing this piece and this piece. And we want to just know exactly where we need to cut it on that one. So let's go ahead and get this piece set up and start drilling out all these spot welds and start separating it. both pieces nice and separated and it's kind of weird they didn't really do spot welds here they did like a laser weld so i couldn't really drill it out so i kind of messed it up just a little bit but obviously we can weld all that up real nice and then here is the inner piece now it's time to go ahead and start working on this piece right here we need to cut this bracket off right here and then probably take these wires out of the way because we need to find out exactly where we are going to splice in this piece so let's go ahead and grab it and it's basically gonna sit somehow like this right here. So we got a little bit more than we needed, which is always a good thing because it's always worse when you don't have enough. But anyways, let's go ahead and cut this off, get those wires out of the way and remove this skin right here so we can start test fitting our new piece.
check it out. We removed all of the damaged pieces. And I gotta say, there's no damage inside here. So that means that didn't really go that far in. It kind of just pushed it in right here. But now that all that's off, it's time to go ahead and start measuring our new piece right here. We're basically just gonna do a little sectioning procedure. As you can see, this is the old part. It was really destroyed and mangled up. And it basically sits, I'm not sure. Let's see, I think it sits like this right here. You can see the holes are lining up pretty good. Now we're gonna do a little, now what we're gonna do is basically just make a cut a little bit bigger so we can overlay this piece under there and mark our final cuts so we can get this sucker welded in. So check it out, we got the inner rocker panel nice and welded up and check out those beautiful welds. We got it all welded up nice and solid. Now it's time to do a little bit of grinding, but we're gonna take a little bit of a break for this because we are getting some new SEM products. In this box right here, we have a SEM uh, cabinet, which is gonna come with a lot of cool stuff. We went ahead and ordered this. They were having a pretty cool deal. As you guys know, we use SEM basically on everything. Here's the zinc weld we were using to actually prime everything in before we weld and it basically just allows you to weld it and there's no corrosion in the back and this right here i just started using it this is sim saw it's basically a wax and grease remover but it's in a can so you kind of just spray it on there you don't have to continue buying like the bottles and then putting in like a sprayer anything like that and then we have a lot of other cool stuff right here this is sim's line of seam sealer now i remember on my bmw i was seam sealing that thing for like two three hours because i just didn't have the right tips and they have a lot of other cool stuff in here check this out this is for bumpers and we have a metal bike i'm guessing this is some cool glazing putty I honestly can't wait to start using it i gotta say it's always super easy fixing cars when you have the right material now this right here is just gonna make it a lot easier. We also have a lot of other cool stuff in here. Here is the seam sealer tips. I guess that makes it like a wide flow. And then we have some other stuff in here. Universal surface cleaner. 
And this right here is rubberized undercoating. That's pretty cool. Probably spray some of that inside the uh, rocker panel. Then we have some gun cleaner. But anyways, the guys over here from CarQuest are going to go ahead and set up this cabinet. I think we're going to put it right here on the wall. It's going to look really good. So let's go ahead and get this thing set up and see what it's all about. check it out here is the sim cabinet now this right here is just going to allow us to do more professional work around here at the shop because you know we're always striving to do better work and honestly this is going to make everything a little bit easier up here we have all of our seam sealer and our glues i didn't even know this stuff existed right here this is basically for fixing bumpers and tabs like on headlights and stuff like that and it sets in 50 seconds and it's super strong and super nice and then a bunch of other seam sealer up there and then right here we have you know some universal surface cleaner when we're going to be applying some body filler or stuff like that and then some universal gun cleaner never actually used that before it's gonna be pretty cool and we have some adhesive remover which we need all the time here at the shop and then this is just like some scuff it stuff to prep it for a painting then we have our eco which we are about to use this actually on our mustang we're gonna have to spray in that area right there but yeah this is pretty cool you know everything's just in one nice little cabinet this is finishing glaze you know after you put some body filler down you put this on top of that and then this right here is pretty cool this is actually for bumpers and it's a flexible glaze so that way the body filler does not crack because I'm used to just putting body filler on bumpers, but you're actually supposed to use this stuff right here. So it's actually pretty freaking sweet. And we also have our applicator gun. This thing right here is just going to make life so much easier whenever we're doing seam sealer work. And we already, have, we already have two tubes right here that we were actually demoing. And then we have this little sh cheat sheet. And then we have all of our tips right here. And that's just going to help us out a lot to get more professional seam sealer. Because, I mean, that's some of the stuff that you always see, you know, underneath the engine bay. There's always a nice bead. And you definitely want to be as professional as possible, which this thing is pretty freaking sweet. We were doing a little bit of demo with the Sun Sales guy. Check this out right here. That is literally an OEM seam right there. You really just got to practice more with that gun. And we did a couple like that. And then one of the cool things is you can actually put a bead down on, like, some plastic like this and then you can peel it up and you can actually glue it on after especially like in those hard to reach areas that you can't really get the gun in and it works out pretty cool so it's always definitely nice to have better tools to get the job done better now it's time to get back to work on the mustang we pretty much have the inner skin all welded in now it's time to grind all this down get everything painted in and then we can start fitting up our outer skin right here and this thing should be ready to go check that out right there it's gonna be brand new. So let's go ahead and grab the grinder, grind all this down, and get everything e coded.
So check it out, we got everything sprayed in with some eco. I gotta say the color is a little bit off, but honestly you'll never see it. And it's just there to protect it so it doesn't rust inside. Man, this stuff is pretty strong. Everything turned out pretty good. All the welds are pretty solid. Now it's time to go ahead and get our final piece on. We need to just slap it on here just like this, make all of the cuts and get it welded in. So guys, check it out. We got everything nice and welded in. I will say I did have a little bit of a problem with the weld through primer right here. These welds did not want to weld. It would literally just bubble up and spark off. I don't know. I might have to get some different weld through primer, but everything looks good. These welds look super good. Got everything tacked up, got everything welded up. I gotta say it turned out pretty good. A lot more work than I expected to do on the side of this car. Honestly, when I was buying it, I thought it was just gonna be a little bit of a dent. Pull it out, bondo it. But it turns out we have to replace the entire piece. But I think that is going to be a wrap for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And definitely check out the Vivor frame machine if you are looking to do some framework on your car. I'll drop all the links down below with the promo code also. So you can get a little discount off of your frame machine. But anyways, if you all enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Also follow us on Instagram at VTune. Thanks for watching.